Today, humanity can imagine its life without various machines and technical devices. Thanks to them, we can quickly overcome any distances, build structures of absolutely any shape and size, and solve various tasks in many areas of life. However, the brightest representatives and absolute champions in their field always attract special attention. Let's take a look at the largest machines and mechanisms in our world together. American Dream when it comes to the largest cars in city conditions, it is impossible not to mention a recognized record holder in this category, a car called the American Dream. It is a limousine with two engines, where there is even a helicopter pad, 12 axles, and 26 wheels. It needs a huge amount of space to turn around, so the car is equipped with two driver's compartments, one in the front and one in the back. It allows comfortable transportation in both directions. The length of this limousine is 30.48 meters, or in other words, exactly 100 feet. It was built in the early 80s by customizer Jay Orberg specifically for movie productions, and still holds the Guinness World Record as the longest limousine in history. Harren EPB Shield Tunnel Boring Machine while the previous beauty can at least move around the city somehow, this giant is forced to move exclusively underground. In 2016, the largest company Heron AG announced the completion of the largest tunnel boring machine in Europe and the third in the world under the name Heron EPB Shield. This giant with a cutting wheel diameter of 15.87 meters was specially created for the construction of a tunnel in the Apenninus, which is in Italy. The 4,800-ton underground monster, reminiscent of the fantastic Worm from Dune, is powered by a gigantic 8,750-kilowatt engine with 101,296 kilonewton meters of torque. It takes as much as 12 megawatt of energy to power the massive drill and other mechanisms of the EPB shield machine. However, the largest tunnel boring machine in diameter at 19.25 meters was to be the tunnel shield ordered for the construction of the Neva Tunnel in St. Petersburg. But the project was abandoned in 2012. Bagger 288 Bucket Wheel Excavator To place this machine would require an area equal to two soccer fields. The aggregate is equipped with 12 crawlers, which allow moving at a speed of 0.5 km per hour. The main purpose of the machines is to lay pipelines and trenches. The Bagger 288 strip mining machine has the following characteristics. Its length is up to 240 meters, the height of 96 meters, and its width is 40 meters. During operation, the machine consumes an enormous amount of energy. It would be more than enough to illuminate a small town. The monster appeared in 1978 and was designed for the mining company Rheinbraun. Despite its impressive size, it can move at a speed of 500 meters per hour. The weight of the machine reaches 13,500 tons. The development of the Bagger 288 took approximately five years. The design development cost the manufacturing company 100 million US dollars. Lieber LTM 11200-9.1 Jeep Crane Another representative of the construction industry is a mobile Jeep Crane with a telescopic boom, manufactured by the German company Lieber, mounted on a special 9-axle truck-type chassis. This strong man with a maximum lifting capacity of 1200 tons is equipped with the longest telescopic boom in the world. The maximum lifting height is 188 meters, making it the tallest mobile crane in the world. As you know, the higher you climb, the harder it hurts to fall. So, in 2010, due to an unexpected and sharp gust of wind, the rotor of the wind generator, which was installing this crane, took off and pulled the boom with jib. It hooked the cab and collapsed to the ground, but the crane itself remained in motion. It's good that no one was hurt as a result of an incident. AN-225 Maria Aircraft However, it's not just on the ground that you meet giants of technology. There are also enough such mastodons in the sky. One of them is the AN-225 Maria. The largest aircraft in the history of aviation, both by dimensions and carrying capacity. It was built in the Soviet Union at the Kiev Mechanical Plant and put into operation in the late 80s of the last century. The one-of-a-kind board has never been involved in passenger deliveries. 
However, if someone wanted to convert the AN-225 Maria into a passenger airliner, it could become the largest passenger aircraft in the world, displacing all the others. The AN-225 was to carry various components of the launch vehicle and spacecraft for the Buran project. There was also an important task of delivering the space shuttle to the spaceport in case of landing at alternate airfields. It was supposed to use Maria as the first stage of the air launch system of the spacecraft, which required a large carrying capacity of the aircraft, with a length of 84 meters, a wingspan of 88.4 meters, and a height of 18.2 meters. The weight of an empty aircraft is 250 tons, and the maximum takeoff weight is 640 tons. The crew of the aircraft consists of six people. The uniqueness of this marvel is so impressive that it's even mentioned in the disaster movie 2012 and the game Battlefield Bad Company 2. Strata Launch Model 351 Next on our list of the largest machines is another Lord of the Winds. This is an American carrier aircraft, part of the Strata Launch Aerospace Air Launch System. At the moment, it is the aircraft with the longest wings in the history of aviation. The Strata Launch Model 351 is a 117.3-meter high-wing twin fuselage monoplane with six turbojet engines mounted in the pylons. The aircraft is 73 meters long with a maximum takeoff weight of 590 tons and a suspended payload weight of 250 tons. The landing gear system has 8 struts, 6 main and 2 nose struts, with 28 wheels. Not every hangar can accommodate such a beauty. Prelude FLNG Platform We can't ignore the masters of the sea. Prelude FLNG is the world's first liquefied natural gas production facility, placed on a floating base and designed to extract, prepare, liquefy natural gas, store and ship LNG directly at sea to gas carriers. The Prelude FLNG has a displacement of 600,000 tons at full load, which is six times more than the largest aircraft carrier, and has a length of 488 meters with a width of 74 meters and a height of 105 meters. The decision to build the Prelude FLNG was made in 2011 by Royal Dutch Shell, one of the largest oil and gas companies in the world. In 2013, the expected construction cost was estimated between 10.8 and 12.6 billion dollars US. That is certainly not a little, but the expected profit from the activities of this monster was worth it. Akula class submarine. Not only above water, but also under its thickness, huge machines work and strike the imagination of ordinary people. The full name of this predator is Project 941 Akula a strategic person heavy missile submarine cruiser, SSBN Typhoon by NATO codification. The largest submarines in the world, of which only one is currently in service, Dmitry Donsky, TK-208, have an underwater displacement of 48,000 tons, the greatest length of 172.8 meters and a width of 23.3 meters. The submarine can reach speeds of up to 27 knots, which is approximately 50 kilometers per hour, and be navigated autonomously for about four months. After modifications and repairs in 2019, Akula is equipped with Bolova-type missiles and is on duty guarding the borders of the Russian Federation. After 2021, the last operating submarine in the series will be decommissioned, and the name Dmitry Donsky will be given to a new submarine of another design. European X-ray Free Electron Laser Facility Not all of the largest mechanisms can move through the various environments of our planet some of them remain in the same position for many years. One such machine is the XFEL laser. The international project to create the world's largest free electron laser was developed by the DESI Research Center and presented in 2002. For the construction and putting into operation of the laser was spent 1.22 billion euros. 58% of this amount was provided by Germany and 27% by Russia. The laser facility is 3.4 kilometers long and is located in Germany at the depth of 6 to 38 meters underground. It extends from the DASI laboratory in Hamburg to the outskirts of Schoenefeld, where administrative buildings, experimental stations and laboratories were built in a 15-hectare site. 
The laser generates high-intensity synchrotron radiation emitted by electrons accelerated to relativistic speeds. XFAL is the world's most powerful X-ray source. Electrons through a superconducting linear accelerator with a maximum energy of 70.5 GeV enter the magnetic fields of undulators where they will move along curved sinusoidal trajectories emitting in the X-ray range. To create the effect of superconductivity, the accelerator elements are cooled with liquid helium to a temperature of minus 271 degrees centigrade. The laser will allow receiving up to 30,000 pulses per second, and the brightness of radiation will be orders of magnitude higher than the existing similar ones. Large Hadron Collider Then, of course, it was impossible to avoid mentioning the largest experimental facility in the world. The Large Hadron Collider, or the LHC for short. More than 10,000 scientists and engineers from more than 100 countries are involved in its construction and research. It is called large because of its size. The length of the main ring of the accelerator is 26.659 kilometers. Hadron because it accelerates hadrons such as protons and heavy atomic nuclei. Collider because two beams of accelerated particles collide in opposite directions inside the detectors of elementary particles. The depth of the tunnel in which the accelerator is located ranges from 50 to 175 meters, with the tunnel ring inclined at about 1.4% relative to the ground. To contain correct and focused proton beams, 1624 superconducting magnets are used, with a total length exceeding 22 kilometers. The magnets operate at a temperature of minus 271 degrees Celsius, which is slightly below the transition temperature of helium to the superfluid state. Scientists are using the LHC to conduct many different particle-related studies. However, the most intriguing study should be to study the effect of baryonic asymmetry in the universe and explain the observed dominance of matter over antimatter in the visible part of the universe. Conclusion Being next to all these giants, a person involuntarily feels like a speck of dust. It would have taken hundreds and hundreds of years without their involvement to create all the things that huge machines have built or helped humanity accomplish. One can hardly imagine the effort with which our ancestors built their cities and grandiose structures of the time. How lucky we are to be endowed with the most powerful and largest computer on this earth, which was able to invent and build the machines that make our lives a little easier. The human brain.